Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how Seesaw's new Chrome extension works. So, I have this article here from Velo News, and we're going to use Seesaw's Chrome extension called Reflect to save the page. And to do that, let's go in the upper right corner, and I have Post to Seesaw. We'll open that up. And now we're going to select Capture Visible Area. If I select Capture Visible Area, that's going to capture everything that's on the page. Or I can select Capture Selected Area, and I can say that I want to select just part of the page. So I'll select just that part. And as soon as I do that, this opens up in a new tab, the Seesaw Editing Tools for annotating and drawing on top of this. So let's go and click the little drawing tools down here and we can circle that. And we can of course use the text tool over here and say, you know, what does this term mean? Yeah, so a student might ask a question or you might use this to ask your students a question about the article. And so, of course, I want to point out what term I'm referring to. So I'm going to take this and draw a circle around hammer. Right? So I'll save that. And when I save this, as the teacher, I can post it to any of my classrooms and, of course, then any of my students. Students would only post it to their own portfolios. And so now that's posted. Now you may have noticed there when I saved that, I'll do it again. I also had the option after capturing my selected area. In this next screen I have the option for recording my voice to go with the article. So I can click that and record in 321 and now I can talk about this article while drawing at the same time and say, hey students, what do you think this opening sentence means? And then again, I can just save that and post it directly into my class and send it to a student. And likewise, students can use those tools to save in their own portfolios. So that's how you can use Seesaw's Chrome extension called Reflect. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.